Hey guys, it's Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. On the Kitchen Tables Craft Social, we've been making these fun little sliders. We've made them for small candies and for gift cards. And then one of my great friends and one of the members of the Craft Social designed a box for Smarties. Uh, so I, a lot of the ladies had asked if I would do a video and bring to life her measurements for the Smarty box. Uh, with graduation season here, I thought that this would be a whole lot of fun. Of course, we've got our graduate owl to go with our Smarties candies. And let's get started with this box. So this is our third slider in a series of sliders. I'll link together this and then the gift card slider and then the small candy slider so that you have an easy time finding them. They'll be below the video if you're watching on YouTube and below the video if you're watching on the blog. Look for a quick links list. So I thought this was a great way to showcase some retiring products and have a little happy send off. If you saw Facebook Live on Friday, we did a retirement party for Will Walrus Be Friends. Today we are honoring Check You Out. This is an awesome photo polymer stamp set. It's 16 pieces and it's only $16. And it's available while supplies last from the 2019-2020 annual catalog. We're going to have a lot of fun with the Check You Out Owl. Our slider pieces are lovely lipstick. So again, in our retirement party, Theme, let's have a warm send off for lovely lipstick. It's a 2018-2020 retiring in color. As of this moment, both Check You Out and Lovely Lipstick are still available. We've got a new slider here. So here's a template. The printable project sheet has a picture of this template. It has measurements, supply list, full color photos, and that is available to print from the blog. So just look for the link if you're on YouTube and it'll take you to the blog. The link to print the project sheet is embedded underneath the video, is underneath the embedded video on the blog and you can just print it and um, you don't have to scribble anything down. It's a great resource and it's free at kitchentablestamper.com. So the total size of our wrapper is eight and a half by three and a half and you need four panels that are one and seven eighths by three and three eighths. So here's our lovely lipstick, eight and a half by three and a half, and four lovely lipstick panels that are one and seven eighths by three and three eighths. All right, so let's grab a Simply Score tool and we're gonna score according to our template. I'm gonna pop the lovely lipstick in on the eight and a half inch side. And then you'll score at one half, at two and a half, at four and a half, at five and a quarter, at seven and a quarter, and at eight inches. Now we're going to use our bone folder and work these creases. You've seen this before. The slider box is very similar to the little candy box that we did. This one will hold a far bigger treat. Remember though, your bigger treats are heavier treats. And so it's even more important than ever to reinforce your slide out wings with double layers of cardstock. So we got our score lines, they're all worked. And I'm gonna grab a pair of scissors and bevel the edge so I get a nice clean fold. So on these two little glue tabs, just make a little cut. You can do both sides here. Nice and clean. Now let's work on that mechanism, shall we? All right. So I've got a page protector here. This is the one that I use to organize my uh, project binders. I put all the templates in little page protectors with the project sheet that I mentioned earlier printed behind. And then I've built myself a resource that I can keep going back to. And with a little tweak of measurements like the slider box, you can have something that's the same but different. And that's what's so cool about um, about building yourself a little binder. I'm gonna use ultra lightweight page protectors. And I'm gonna cut off about an inch and a quarter here, just using my Stampin' Up! paper trimmer. It cuts like butter. 
and then we're gonna cut off the binding edge. Now this piece right here is the mechanism for our slider. It's actually what makes the little wings slide out. You can get two sliders from each one of these little pieces. All right, so now we're going to, first things first, we want to have our template, or I mean our, our wrapper, so that we have a half inch, two inches, and two inches. See the difference here? From this side, it's half inch, three quarters of an inch, two inches. So make sure you've got the side with the two, two inch panels. Now you're gonna wrap the clear plastic around that first two inch panel, and you're going to secure it with some tear and tape. So I've got my little tear and tape here. I'm gonna fold it over, add a strip as close to the edge as they can get it, and then we're gonna snug this up and wrap around that two inch segment. Expose the adhesive. Gonna pull this nice and snug and adhere. And then once you've got a nice tight band, you can slide it all the way to the end and cut off the excess. Save this piece for another slider. Now, before we go any further, let's just add a little bit of um, tear and tape over on the outside of the band, over where the tear and tape on the inside of the band is, and slide this to the side. Now it's time for these panels that actually make the slide out little wings. We're gonna double the thickness of these, so I like to use multi-purpose liquid glue. We can do the left side slider. It's a simple one, because we're just going to layer up double thickness. This is where we'll adhere our candies. Now before we adhere the pole side, let's grab the circle tab punch. This one, as I speak to you, is on low inventory. It's on sale for just $14.40. It was $18 originally, and I use this punch like crazy. I'm gonna miss it um, for regular routine use, but I am not gonna give it up. So we're gonna fold our little tab. I like this little tab for my ink sponges. So every, every ink gets its own one-sixth of a sponge. I fold the tab, staple, and now blueberry bushel only gets used on the blueberry bushel sponge and it's easy to identify with the tab on there. That's why that punch will never leave my collection. So for $14.40, get it while you still can. We're gonna add multi-purpose liquid glue. Glue the tab to the little wingy piece. Then we're going to glue the back, sandwiching that little wingy piece in. That'll give us a smoother slide. I love this little tab. We're having a retirement party for Check You Out, Lovely Lipstick, and the Circle Tab Punch. All right. Now before we go and assemble any of this, we got a little bit of stamping to do for the inside. So we're gonna do that right now. I've got a piece of Whisper White cardstock that is one and three quarters by three and a quarter. And that one's gonna layer on there. So let's first do a little bit of stamping. Got some Memento Tuxedo Black and the congratulations word from Check You Out. We'll stamp that really close right along the bottom. Then I'm gonna pull in my Stampin' Pierce mat. Have you guys heard the news? Stampin' Up decided to keep the Stampin' Pierce mat, so we were gonna get some more, yay! I didn't know how I was gonna get good images from photopolymer stamp sets without my Stampin' Pierce mat. So it is not currently available, but when it's back in stock, when Stampin' Up replenishes um, their inventory, they will turn that item number back on, and that will be a very exciting day. All right, so Old Olive, Pretty Peacock. Let's do a little stack of books. We want this to be very scholarly. 
I got my little book spine here. We're gonna stamp it above. Congratulations. And old olive. And then we've got our little page side. So it's like a pages side. The spine's off to the left. And we're gonna stamp that on top of old olive. Now got a scrap of whisper weight it's a big scrap because we're going to stamp a couple of things so since we're stamping we might as well just keep going for the inside we want the little heart from check you out all these fantastic images are right from the check you out stamp set lovely lipstick ink a retiring in color let's stamp a little heart and let's stamp a little owl and we're gonna clean our little owl and set it aside so that we can do the belly in a separate color. So, lovely lipstick on Whisper White. And let me clean that guy and set him aside. I love my simple chamois. Just water, cleans the stamps. And they last so long. All right, we'll set this guy aside to dry for just a minute. All right, library card from Check You Out. We're gonna ink that one up in Pretty Peacock. When you've got a solid image like this, give your ink a second to transfer. Take your time, you'll get a better image and a better project. Little graduation cap, more Pretty Peacock. Again, everything is from the Check You Out stamp set, and I just love all the little images. We're pulling back in Memento Tuxedo Black here. I'm kind of mess of ink pads, don't I? We're gonna ink up the little specks. We're gonna add some scholarly glasses to our little owl. Is that not the cutest thing you ever saw? I know. I'm telling you, that's why we have to have a retirement party for Check You Out. All right, there's still a couple of little things that we need to stamp. So since we've got the um, ink pads all out, let's slide aside our scrap of Whisper White. And then I got a one inch circle. I did that with a retired one inch circle punch. Unfortunately, that one is sold out. Check you out. And pretty peacock. We're gonna stamp it low of center on our one inch circle. And then we've got our little owl again and some Stampin' Up mini grid paper. Let's protect our Stampin' Pairs mat. This is Pool Party cardstock. We're gonna stamp our owl on the pool party. So we're gonna get an awesome two-tone belly for our owl. I think that we have stamped everything we need to stamp for this project. So let's clear away the Stampin' Pads. And then we're gonna do a little fussy cutting and I will meet you back when everything is all cut out. And I'm gonna start with the owl belly and I'm gonna just cut right on the pretty peacock edge so that that belly is outlined, pool party but outlined with pretty peacock. And these little guys need a quick fussy cut too. So I'm going to cut out each one with the smallest little white border around and I'll meet you right back here to assemble our slider. Alright, we have all of our little fussy cut bits. Let's go back to our slider here. So here's our left wing, that gets candy. Here's our little right wing, that one's going to get that adorable little stack of books. I'm going to use multi-purpose liquid glue and glue this guy down. We're gonna further sandwich that little circle tab, which will reinforce it and make it smooth for sliding. We really got it sandwiched in there. Then the little lovely lipstick heart, multi-purpose liquid glue the back of that onto our stack of books. Isn't that just the cutest thing? I'm one of those overachievers that makes the inside just as cute as the outside. <laughs> All right, slide these guys, because these are outside pieces. So let's just slide them aside for a minute and let's get back to the inside. So here's where things are might feel a little strange. We're going to peel the tear and tape 
And now this gorgeous little panel that we made, we're going to stick it to the tear and tape upside down. I know that seems a little crazy, but it's going to work out fine, I promise you. Now, you want the tear and tape almost to the edge and the plastic centered between the score lines. You're going to add the edge of this little wing almost to the edge of the wrapper and center it between the score lines. Burnish that down. Now you can fold this half inch tab and get some more tear and tape. We're gonna flip this guy over on itself and glue it down. Can't find my take your pick tool. Good thing I still have my old paper piercer. All right, peel that tear and tape and then we're gonna fold at the second score and burnish down. Now more tear and tape. We had it on the far left side. On the inside we're going to put it on the far right side. On the outside. Peel and then stick down these little wings again. So almost to the edge and adhere that down. Let's not go any further on our wrap yet because we've got some designer series paper for the outside. So that'll be easier to burnish if we do it now. The designer series paper I chose is the Dino Roar um, designer series paper. This is $6.90 for 12 two-sided 12 by 12 papers. I love this stuff and you cannot beat $6.90. So we're having a retirement party for Check You Out, The Circle Tab, and Dino Roar Designer Series Paper. Don't miss this stuff. It's really cute and playful and colorful. And as you can see, you don't need a dinosaur. <laughs> All right, then tear and tape again. We're going to put the tear and tape on the half inch segment here. Burnish that down. And I've lost my paper piercer too. Must be with my take your pick tool. So tip of the scissors will have to do. There's more than one way to skin a cat I guess. Alright now you're going to make this top part into a box. Do you see that? So it's folding up into a box. This little tab is going to go underneath your slider wing and it's going to stick to the bottom of the box here. Once you got a nice square line up, then you'll put your thumbs in and your index fingers out and burnish. Look, are you ready? Yes, you just did that. Isn't that awesome? And look at the inside's cuter than the outside. I'm such an overachiever. All right, a quick little punch. I've got a quarter inch circle punch right in to the circle tab. Love the circle tab for this. A little quarter inch circle and then you can tie whatever you want through there. Put little buttons, little half inch circles, um, layered kind of bullseye style to dress up that, that punch, that tab. Alright, this is the Whisper White Tool Polka Dot. It is currently either on back order or stop sell, but the good news is, is it's carried into the new catalog. So it will be available again. Keep an eye for that or email me if you need any help with um, placing orders for things that are on um, back order or on stop sell. We definitely are gonna have some things that are coming in a little bit slower due to the, to the um, restrictions and how people are working so differently during the this um, pandemic, the COVID-19 response that Stampin' Up! is to keep uh, their employees safe. They're working from home, they're spread out in the uh, warehouse, and so things do work a little slowly going out of Stampin' Up! The shipping times are a little delayed, and um, coming into Stampin' Up! they're doing everything they can. They're using air freight where they can and, and stuff, but just like our warehouse is kind of slow putting things out because of the social distancing. Um, that's the same all the way all around with our suppliers too. So this will be back in stock. 
it's just not in stock right now but it is such a fun playful pattern I like how it works with the designer series paper All right, so we've got the little check you out right that's a one inch circle don't miss the one and one eighth inch scallop punch this one is also retiring <laughs> we're having a big retirement party today and it's six dollars and forty cents while supplies last it's the perfect way to add any little sentiment um, totally it was worth full price but six dollars and forty cents I've been thinking about getting a second one because I've used it so much punches do get dull after a while so I'm thinking about getting a second one can make it so easily into a little tag just take a little one eighth inch circle pop a hole in there and we're gonna tie it with a little linen thread mm, I don't know if that's enough I've got pretty good dexterity but that's a small piece let's tie her off the spool here all right I'm gonna do another little bow I love the textures between the sheer with the polka dots and the natural feel of the linen the multicolored triangles in the background it's just a fun little project I struggled with it when I started out I started with a different designer series paper and it was funny how when I switched to the Dino Roar it, the project just came together those little triangles and that color palette are so perfect alright snip Oh, look at our little tag. Don't miss out on that one and one eighth. And the one and three eighths inch scallop is on sale for $6.40 also. All right, library card. Let's go ahead and adhere that. Now notice it's off the edges on the top left and the bottom right corner. So avoid those. Don't put the glue there. Little jaunty angle. And then you can, if you don't put your candy in right away, if you do that last, then you can get in there and you can burnish down your stamp images. My owl looks a little white and plain, so let's add some multi-purpose liquid glue and that little belly that we paper pieced. Doesn't that just give the owl such life? A little multi-purpose liquid glue. Get those feet. We don't want them to catch on anything. And then a bit more funny little angle keep the feet on and remember that you need a little room up top for that hat got a mini dimensional for check you out or I may got a stampin dimensional for check you out one regular size one Add that over our library card again you can burnish from the inside and then for the little graduation cap I got a half of a mini dimensional let's pop that up you want it all the way at the bottom because it's going to be really close to the edge, maybe even over the edge a little bit. Pop that on Owl's head. Ho oh, ho, so cute. All right, now a little trick. Got my Smarties, and I've already done this ahead of time, so they're completely dry. So to adhere something to the inside of these little sliders, one of the things that you can do, and this is a great tip from Rhonda too, she said, make sure that you find the um, opposite side of the seam so that when your recipient goes to take the candy out of the package they don't pull and send their candy toppling. So I just put a very fine line of multi-purpose liquid glue on the wrapper. I'm going to set that aside and let it dry. It's, it's a thin line of glue. Maybe 15-20 minutes if it's really humid it might need a little bit longer to dry but once it's completely clear like this one and tacky then we'll go ahead and pull and then find that sticky side make sure it reads smarties the right way otherwise maybe we're not such smarties if we don't watch that and you can just press and it'll stick to the to the plastic then and then it'll peel off you know how when you get in the mail sometimes you'll get um, a credit card or a coupon or something that will have a uh, you know, special offer and you'll pull it and it'll have like a little stretchy glue edge. That's what this does is it gives you kind of that like stretchy glue that can be peeled off without too much damage to the project itself. So you gotta find those sticky. They're hard for me to find now too because they've been sitting for a little while. So I'll have to roll until they stick I think. Oh this one's stuck to its brother instead of stuck to the bottom. There we go. 
I think we got it, Smarties. And they're, they're a little heavy, so you'll have to support this side. There it is. For all the little Smarties you have graduated. Isn't that cute? Or I don't know if you're still um, isolating or if you're able to gather, but wouldn't that be cute if you have a small gathering to celebrate a graduation? Make one for everybody, put it at the at the table for a small gathering or for your very own special graduate, for your very own special little smarty. <laughs> be sure to grab, uh, check you out in the Dino Roar Designer Series paper, the circle tab while supplies last. If there's anything I can do to help you with the project or with the product, you can email marissa at kitchentablestamper.com and to buy these items while you still can, buzz over to marissaalvarez.stampinup.net. Thanks for watching.